Welcome back to Cars and Guitars. It's my birthday, so I treated myself to a brand new guitar. What we've got here is the new Squire Troublemaker Telecaster. It's called the Troublemaker because family got a little bit cheeky and gone down through some accoutrements on a Tele Deluxe and built themselves a Gibson Les Paul. Not the first time Fender has released one of these, but it is the first time we've got a Squire version and First impressions, fit and finish is spot on. Not a single imperfection in this black beauty. Neck and fret work feels great as well. Binding looks great. Uh, let's take a closer look at the specs. Poplar body available in black or Aztec gold with white binding. Maple neck with a bound Indian laurel fretboard and perloid block inlays. It's the standard Fender 25 and a half inch scale length with a nice nine and a half inch radius fretboard and bone nut with matching headstock. Hardware on the black guitar is gold and on the gold guitar it's chrome. Pickups are two Fender designed Alnico humbuckers, three-way switch, volume and tone for each pickup. And I just read on the spec sheet that this has push-pull tone controls for coil splitting. There's a few differences between the earlier Fender ones in terms of body wood and things like that. Uh, the original has been constructed the same way a Les Paul would be, but the essence is all here. And the tone wood thing is a bit of BS anyway. Let's have a look inside and we'll hear how it sounds. Switch cavity. Yep, it's got one and it's tidy in here. Control cavity, we've got pots and wires. Got these big square tone control pots for our coil splitting and a couple little fellas for the volume. Again, clean cavity, nice soldering job. Also, while we're here, absolutely faultless gloss black finish. Have a look at this. All right, let's hear how it sounds. We're back. There's heaps of different options with the coil splitting and, you know, switching and whatever's. I'll just run through the split tones first and then we'll go into full humbucker mode.
I'm not a telly guy. I've got one, all pink bits here, and I've had one of the telly deluxes with the wide range humbuckers in the past that, to be honest, I never quite got along with. But this thing, it's a hell of a lot of guitar for the money. Squire is really onto a good thing these past couple of years, and look, this isn't a Les Paul. It's not trying to be, don't get me wrong, but what it is, is a really fun quality instrument. And on that note, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for Paul Antimore.